remember the most interesting shot in the teaser trailer where that fairy like jumped into the air and appeared in all her fairy glory? And it was the thing that sold the teaser trailer. They made it a lot of the poster frames. It was like, you, it was the one moment where you were like, maybe they have something here. Well, guess what? It's not in the movie! I can't believe that Hollywood keeps doing this. I thought about this, and I think this is easily top 10 worst live action Disney movies ever made. It might be top 5. This is barely a movie. It's barely a story. If you're a fan of these novels, you are going to probably hate this. This is more of a Spy Kids movie than it is an Artemis Fowl movie. I'm going to give Artemis Fowl an F. Okay, so basically it's a cross of Harry Potter, um, Men in Black, and, well, I don't have Percy Jackson, but, but here's a picture. Percy Jackson. And what you get, you know, you, you put those together into like, like, like cookie dough. You, you put it together, smash it together, like, really, really good. You put it together, smash it down, put that crap in the oven in it. And what do you produce? Well, well shit. But also, you get hard in this foul. <laughs> uh, what were they thinking? What were they thinking when they were creating this movie? What, what, what was going on through their heads when they were, like, greenlighting this film? After I watched this movie on Disney Plus on Friday, and I gotta say, what the fuck I just watched? Overall, guys, Artemis Fuck is one of the worst things that Disney has ever made. It's totally now the second worst Disney movie of all time, the worst movie of 2020 so far, and one of my top five least favorite movies of all time. And it gets a zero out of ten. And now, it's my turn.